It's important for customers to like your website design because the longer they stay, the higher the chance they will book. Here's what you need to do. Welcome to another edition of Hospitality Property School. I am your instructor, Jerry McPherson. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it now and make sure to hit the little bell so you'll be informed when I upload a new video. You won't want to miss anything I designed especially for you. The way to make visitors stay on your website is by giving them reasons why they should stay, be it information, good service, special price, etc. Keep your website design limited to make it look more professional. Your website design should be personal and appealing. You should provide a detailed description about your property and services. Your website should be simple and straightforward. Your goal should be to make your hospitality property's website a pleasure to look at. Whether you're overhauling your property's existing website or creating your own web presence from scratch, you should understand the crucial elements of a clean and functional website so that it looks honest, professional, and well-designed. I'm going to look at some of the details you need to consider when designing your website. A website should be easy to use. If visitors are confused when looking at your website, it'll be a great way to dissuade them from making their booking decision. Ensuring your website is easy to navigate around will keep your visitors on your site longer and increase the chances of conversion. Test the ease of use yourself by seeing how many clicks it takes for you to find a piece of information, such as your room descriptions or list of facilities. If it's more than three clicks, it's probably too many. Your home page. First impressions count. You have less than 15 seconds to impress a visitor when they hit your website for the first time. Your website needs to build trust and show a user that you are professional. You also have to make it clear that every piece of information can be found on your property's website in an uncluttered way. The About Us page. The About Us section is a perfect place to tell your story, explaining why you love to host your guests and the kind of experience your property offers them, the history of your property, the local attractions, and a way to introduce your team. Delightful Images. You only have to look at the statistics surrounding Instagram to realize how powerful images have become. Delightful imagery is more than just a passing trend, and hoteliers are well placed to make the most out of their aspirational surroundings. I'm going to share 18 more details you need to consider for your website design, right after a word from our sponsors. If you would like to learn more tips and techniques for operating a hospitality property, I highly recommend you join our six day challenge. We at Keystone HPD have taken our years of experience as hospitality property authorities and have produced the six day challenge video series with many actionable tips and techniques that aspiring and current hotel, resort, inn, bed and breakfast, etc. owners and managers can take and use to help improve your property's bookings and profit. Topics include what type of owner manager are you? How to set up your organizational structure? The importance of great customer service? Marketing your property? Social media platforms? Wowing your guests? Plus more. The most exciting thing? The regular price for this information packed video series is $97, but for a limited time, it is being offered to you for only $7. Sign up in the show notes and get immediate access to your first video. Before the break, I said I was going to share 18 more details you need to consider for your website design. Quality content. Content is king and your website needs a lot of it. Interesting content helps to keep your prospective guests on your website longer. Content increases the rate of conversion, especially if it's authentic, accurate, and informative. Ideas include detailed descriptions of your rooms and other facilities, local attractions, history of your hotel, an up-to-date blog, guest reviews, your bar, 
dining room, spa. Information. Information about your rooms, rates, facilities, and amenities, room availability, contact details, your location and proximity to attractions, and things to do, just to name a few. Most of this information is view as standard, but your property can stand out from the competition by going the extra mile and supplying a comprehensive guide to what's offered locally. Direct bookings. You can have all the great elements of a beautiful web experience, but without a place for your prospective guests to book, it's essentially incomplete. Your site footer. You can use the footer on your website to repeat the main navigation bar of your website, which can help create a better user experience and also help prospective guests find what they're looking for more quickly. Google Analytics. Building a website that tries to be everything to everyone is not a great strategy. The key is to really know your audience. Who's visiting your site? Where in the world are they coming from? What pages are they most interested in? And what do they click on? Analytics can help you become more targeted. Knowing the jargon. When you're thinking about building a website from scratch, you need to know the difference between XML and HTML, or you could find yourself in trouble during the early stages of your build. Internal links. Links are key to drive traffic around your site. They are a necessity when building a beautiful web experience for your guests to help them navigate around your website more seamlessly. Website responsiveness. It has been a decade since the smartphone had been released and eight years for the tablet. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last 10 years, you know there's not much we can't do on a mobile device. Searching for travel and hotel inspiration is a perfect example of how your guests are using their mobile devices. But when they use these devices, it can be annoying when the information they're viewing shrinks down and looks too small. We expect a web experience that responds to our screen size and making sure your website looks just as beautiful on a small screen is a key part of delivering a great user experience. Are these making sense so far? Let me know in the comments. The navigation bar. It's probably the most important aspect of your website's functionality. Not only does it guide people through the key areas of your website, it can lower your bounce rate. If your navigation bar is clear and accurate, your users will start their web experience with a good impression. Organization. This is where your web design should start. How many pages do you need? What information will you place on them? What are the web pages that naturally belong together? Map out your website, giving all your content a logical home. And don't forget to use your data and analytics to inform your decision making. Promotions. Creating special offers for your customers not only increases guest loyalty, but helps keep your website fresh with interesting content. Quality over quantity. We've all visited messy websites that are so mixed up there is no way of finding the information we were originally looking for. When it comes to the design of your website, you must think about the quality over quantity, a design to bring together everything your guests need to make that final booking decision online. SEO. You might have a beautiful online presence, but how do people find you? Search Engine Optimization or SEO. We'd all love internet users to wake up in the morning and come directly to your website. But unfortunately, it does not work that way. That is one aspect of web design that needs technical knowledge and is necessary. Your website theme. The theme of your website reflects your hospitality property's personality and shouldn't be an afterthought in the design process. The color palette. Consider which of your property's photos best complement your color theme and think about your font design. Calls to action. A call to action is a button that goes beyond the standard click here. It prompts and persuades users to hit that button and explore your web pages further. Your users are much more likely to click on a button that says, take a tour or learn more about us. 
videos. Creating video content is a necessity that can no longer be overlooked, and it is an effective way to keep your visitors on your website longer. Hospitality properties are in a great position to use videos as a way of showcasing what the property has to offer. There are plenty of ways to get started and create your first professional looking videos. You can even do it on a smartphone for free. White space. Now I've already talked about the clutter of a website, but how do you declutter your website? Use white space. It's important for the usability and readability that your site has enough white space between the different elements such as graphics, columns, images, texts, and margins. White space allows your users' eyes to relax and take in everything. Your content information. Your content information needs to be up to date all the time. You should list as many contact details as you can, but make sure only to list the contact details for the communication that is active and manned by your staff. In conclusion, as an independent hospitality property owner or manager, it can feel like an uphill struggle even to think about having enough skills or resources to create the perfect website. But it doesn't have to be if you follow the guidelines laid out in this episode. Now it's time to step back and take a look at your website as your returning or potential guests would and see where you can make the changes to enhance their experience. Have you updated your website recently? Let me know in the comments. You will have access to this episode for the next six weeks and then it gets locked away in the vault for Hospitality Property School group members only. To see all the other valuable material you would have access to as a member of the Hospitality Property School group, check out the short video in the episode post show notes. In the next episode, I will talk about how to create a blog. That's it for today's episode. Until next time, have a fun day. Did you see the last episode of Insider Tips? It was great. If you haven't signed up yet, you can find the link in the show notes. <music>